What's up y'all, it's Timmy, and today I'm taking off on a 13,000 mile road trip and leaving Alaska, so let's go do it. Welcome to Truck House Life, baby. So for those of you guys that don't know, I'm about to leave in a few days on a 13,000 mile road trip down from Alaska, down the west coast, and all the way inwards towards Colorado and Utah and that whole area. And I'm going to be doing some documentary film work with another uh, videographer, and I'll also be filming my own adventures along the way and just getting into it. It's going to be an awesome trip. I'm going to have a lot of awesome content for you guys, so I'm super stoked. Anyway, I'm starting to pack right now for the trip and just made myself a little list last night. Anyhow, let's uh, let's get to packing. Unfortunately, I do not have my aluminum side boxes for the camper yet, which are gonna fill that cavity, the empty cavity on both sides. There'll be double doors. And once I get down to Oregon, I'll pick those boxes up and install them in uh, the parking lot of the place that's making them. And then I'll be able to move all my stuff and organize it way better, but it's just gonna be super cluttered for now. So this is my basically my hot shower kit i can't install that hot shower kit because i don't have my aluminum boxes in yet Ooh, timmy is warm we're looking pretty good got all the power stations packed up solar panels that fold in half i've got a pa system so i can actually throw an actual live music event get a uh, pretty decent speaker over there some stage lighting microphone stands all the cables and a mixer so that's kind of cool coming around on this side, I've got my portable hot shower that I'm going to install once I get the boxes. I've got five gallon gas can for the Honda 1000 generator. All my camper jacks, which will be, remember I'm gonna have that diamond plate box here, so all this stuff will be inside the box. And a propane tank for the shower. Kick drum suitcase. Um, got my instruments inside, so I'm gonna throw one more kayak up top. We're getting there though. Inside, we have all the food, got all my food kind of packed up there. Air conditioner's installed, woo! We're getting close. All right, y'all, this is it. I can't even believe it. I am leaving Alaska, not forever, but I'm leaving it for the next couple months to do some documentary film work and uh, get into some shenanigans. So today, I've got a 12 hour drive to reach the Canadian borderline and I hope to God I can get through. Uh, you guys remember last august when i got rejected getting through that sucks but that was also at the height of covid and everyone was getting rejected so should go better today uh, especially because i'm doing documentary film work i'm going down there to do some work so um here we go let's get out of here i'm all packed i think i hope no turning back get keys so people can check the mail all right Get the truck all warming up, plants are outside. All right, house. This is my cabin. If you guys haven't seen it, I built this with my dad. We'll do a tour before too long, but it's a cool place. Anyhow, on the road, here we go. Oh man, I hope I'm not forgetting anything because I feel like I am. What's up with those sunglasses? I forgot my shades. Don't want to forget those shades ever. Lock the old door up. Okay. We good? We're good. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> I just left the house. Here it goes. <laughs> oh, we're already off to bad start. I got too much crap in my hands. Oh. oh, too much stuff in my freaking hands. You don't even want to see how packed this truck is. I am packed beyond the gills, well beyond the gills. Let's check out the truck really quick. Super crazy packed up. 
Uh, I only brought two pairs of pants and some shorts, but I've got my clothes in this bag. I also had to bring winter clothes because I'm coming back in the winter when it's going to be cold and I'm going to a hundred plus degree desert. So I'm in this weird temperature range. Uh, I've got my kick drum suitcase and a PA system, microphones, all that fun stuff. Propane tank for my shower, my camper jack so I can remove the camper and go off-roading crazy stuff. Here's the shower I got to put together. Uh, gasoline tank for the generator. And on this side of the camper, we got more PA system stuff, jackery. I've got a fire pit right here, which is cool. Solar panels, all the important stuff. And then I got my kayaks up here, play boats. Got a lot of stuff in the rocking box. All my paddling gear, I've got my speed wing up there, stuff like that. Inside is pretty clean, I'm throwing that away in town. I've got a new toilet down here, so I'm throwing this old one away. Camper's pretty cleaned out. Got the air conditioner installed. Let's freaking do it. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I tell you, there's no feeling like a road trip, man. There's no feeling in the world like a like the open road to me. Just such a cool feeling. Let's go. I'm gonna do a couple errands in Anchorage really quick and get some coffee at uh, Kaladi's Coffee. I'm gonna miss it and then we're out of here. Woohoo! All right, I just got my COVID results. Thank God. I mean, I knew they're negative, but thank God I got them in time to go to the border. So, as I was driving through Anchorage, the doctor's clinic called me. I've been waiting two and a half days for the results. They just came in, it's negative. They printed them out in paper. So, now I've got proof that I don't have it for the border. That was close. Anyway, we're leaving Anchorage now. Let's do it. Sometimes life's overwhelming. We need an escape. Oh, my darling doll. The meat is in the hood. Oh, where is crime on a fence? I just want out. Yo, Zach Carroll, this is for you tractor land over here. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Look at all those tractors. Know nothing about them, but still pretty cool. There's a pink one for you, bud. That's cool, so that's uh, Renee right there in front of us. Renee brought our kayaking group into Caribou Creek in one of my old videos, and her friends up in front had just met, so. That's pretty cool. Just ran into them on the road the last second. Get about 140 miles to Toke, which is the last gas for a while. Man, I swear this state is so small. I mean, I'm literally driving out of Alaska right now towards Canada, middle of nowhere, and I just passed uh, Opadiah Jenkins, my probably my oldest friend. Uh, I've known him for 24, 25 years. And we went to high school together in, uh, in Georgia. He just passed by me right now, so called each other and talked for a second, but pretty crazy, small state. This is the turn that uh, takes you out of Alaska right here. Tote cutoff. Here we go. Canadian border, 215 miles. Let's do it. We just fueled up in Tote, 93 miles to the border. Bum, bum, bum. That's awesome. 
That's uh, Max's buddy right there. You guys have all met Max. He helped me make that flamethrower. But anyway, uh, Max convinced his buddy right there to move up from California, and I just passed him in the way south. This is crazy. It's such a small world. Ran into like three people I know out in the middle of nowhere in this highway. Canada border, 20 miles, baby. 20 miles to customs. <laughs> and here's the Yukon territories. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully I make it through. I'll be at the Canadian customs border in about, in about 15 minutes. One bad thing, this used to be all gravel. A lot of this road and these Mack trucks would pass you like this and freaking just destroy your windshield with rocks. And I've got a brand spanking new windshield in this truck, so we'll try to keep it that way. All right, y'all, moment of truth. My heart's already beating. Canadian border pulling up. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, boy! Yeah! Oh, I cannot tell you how relieved I am right now. I can't even tell you. Oh, I just made it through the Canadian border. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ah, here we go. Freaking epic, boys. Freaking epic. Ah, my heart was pounding. Oh, is it the, I mean, I have no reason to be scared. I shouldn't be scared. I'm going for completely legit reasons. And uh, I'm still just freaking so nervous because I got denied last August and they brought it up and they made me walk inside because they wanted to look into why I got denied last year and all that stuff. And it's because COVID is really bad and they weren't letting anyone through, period, even with medical records. Anyway, guys, I'm through the Canadian border, so the trip is on, yo. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> what do you guys think uh, diesel cost in Canada? We're about to find out. This is probably going to be really expensive. Man, I cannot tell you how stoked I am, guys. I've got like two months of just epic plans and epic adventures and some epic documentary film work to capture and I'm stoked. It's just so cool. So freaking cool. Man oh man. Buckshot Bettys. And you guys might have seen me trying to play music solo with that uh, kick drum suitcase and the banjo and the uke and all that stuff but I just thought of my own band main, band name, solo band name. I'm gonna call myself Bubba Buckshot. Bubba Buckshot. <laughs> gas out here on the Alaska Highway. You just pull up to those big tanks and fill up. Coming up into Destruction Bay. Cool. I think that's Clane Lake or Clane Lake, something like that over there. It's a beast. It's freaking huge. I know there's a gas station down here, but for those of you that don't know, I have two diesel tanks in here, so I can keep a lot of fuel. So I can go like pretty much 380, 400 miles without filling up. So I'm bypassing all these super expensive diesel slash gas stations. I'm gonna adjust these off-road lights a little bit. A little, a little too low. This is the end of Coyne Lake down here, middle of Yukon Territories. It's like absolutely gorgeous out. Everything's holding up pretty well in the camper. So far, knock on wood, all my lights are working. All the good stuff. Man, I need more it's lights. I don't have enough light. I've got two off-road lights. I think I need some like point point shooters. Well, out of walls and with the Holy Ghost. From the barber to the barber coast. My first Canadian fill-up. It's $1.49 a liter for diesel. I don't know what that is. It's like $6 a gallon, pretty much. <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna fill up uh, about 30 gallons. It's gonna be a lot. All right, y'all, massive change in plans. I've decided to take the Alaska Highway instead of the Cassiar Highway, which is gonna add a couple more miles, but my back is really messed up and my knees are really messed up from Six Mile Fest for throwing it, like it hurts. And Liard Hot Springs is on the Alaska Highway, so I'm gonna not do the Cassiar and I'm just gonna take the Alaska Highway through Dawson City and all that stuff. 
And I'm gonna stop at Layard Hot Springs and try to heal my back today. So that's my plan. All my problems are so small. No one shot at me at all. And I love all my friends' bands. Just so much good original music. It's ridiculous. Awesomeness. Highway 37, which is the Cassiar Highway, and this is essentially a shortcut if you're trying to get to Seattle. It shaves off about 350 or 400 miles, but the road is a lot rougher. But it's beautiful, it's way out in the wilderness. But I think I'm just not going to go that way this time. I'm going to roll on down this way and go to the uh, hot springs. Pretty cool. I stopped here one time like in 2002 when I first moved up to Alaska. It's been a hot second. Cool. Well, that's a wrap, y'all. I hope you enjoyed day one of my road trip from Alaska down to the lower 48. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the next episode coming up shortly. And we'll see you next time. Peace, y'all.